The national average for a gallon of regular gas is now $3.22, a cent less than last year. I'm glad to see that we're finally getting back into the groove. Just got to just gotta keep, keep chipping away until it's finally where it needs to stay. Super exciting, especially with the holidays coming up. You're going to save a couple dollars every time you get gas. In Austin, the average is even lower at $2.60. Good news for consumers who are still dealing with the worst inflation the country has seen in 40 years. Kind of offsets a little bit of that. I mean, I think the food inflation is uh, higher than what the gas inflation is or deflation is, is, has been, but uh, it definitely helps. Patrick DeHaan, head of petroleum analysis at Gas Buddy, says the lower prices are because of higher productivity at refineries and reduced demand. In the coldest months of the year, Americans tend to stay a bit closer to home. But also the price of oil has started uh, or continued to drop over the last couple of months. But he says a possible reduction in production could lift prices. Russia has said that it may stop exporting to oil to some of the countries uh, that participate in price caps. So all of this really talk on price caps and sanctions is kind of more of a longer term uh, situation that we'll have to keep an eye on but doesn't necessarily cause prices to go up. He says demand usually increases in a few months, so expect gas prices to increase. Prices start more uh, a significant rise starting in late February and early March. And again, that's because we'll start transitioning to summer gasoline. We will start uh, seeing refineries do seasonal maintenance before the summer. And that's when the seasonality really picks up. DeHaan says if there are no major impacts to supply or demand in 2023, Americans should not pay as much at the pump as they did in 2022. Meredith Aldis, Fox 7 Austin News.